The paper looks at the MedStar Washington Hospital Center house call program, uh, a home-based pr primary care model that cared for 722 patients over about a five-year period. And it found 2,160 outside patients who didn't get that kind of house call care. And we were trying to, the basic question is, what is the impact of our home-based primary care team on the Medicare costs and survival of that population? And what we found in the uh, house call population who received kind of 24-7 intensive home-based primary care, um, their total Medicare costs were lower by 17% over an average two-year period of life. That translates into about $8,000 over the two years, or $4,000 per patient per year. The team approach to this very sick population um, has two, or two major kind of um, elements that helps reduce Medicare costs. One is willingness to make urgent visits in the home um, by nurse practitioners usually, or social workers or doctors, that if the patient and family calls in distress, we go out to see them within 24 hours to address the issue, decide how sick they are, decide if they really truly do need to go to the hospital. Um, that's one way to prevent unneeded ER visits or hospital admissions. The second major kind of component to the program that helps prevent high cost events is a 24-7 single phone number where they can reach a doctor on call within 10 to 15 minutes to help decide with them on the phone um, how sick they are, do they need to go in or not. Um, they often can check their vital signs, report them to the doctor uh, over the phone, um, and then decide together, can we just come out and visit you tomorrow, or do you really need to come into the hospital? So there's a Medicare demonstration prog program called Independence at Home, or IAH, that's ongoing right now. It is in the second of three years of its demonstration program, and the Washington Hospital Center House School Program is one of the national sites. There's 18 national sites. That demonstration program is trying to reward house call teams who lower Medicare costs and maintain high quality of care. And the whole idea is to reward the value of the care and not just the volume of services that we provide. So if we reduce costs of care, um, they would share 80 percent of the savings with the provider after Medicare gets the first five percent back. I would love for Medicare and other insurance payers to really consider paying house call teams for the value of the service they provide in some sort of monthly fee or an, with enough funding so that we can hire new people at the end of the year and expand to new geographic areas.